A Garfield Heights woman says after a judge allowed her to stay in her foreclosed home a little longer because of medical issues, the bank who bought it wasn't having it. They slapped an eviction notice on her door and filed a motion in lower court. News 5's Amanda Van Allen spoke with that woman today, and Amanda, she says the entire experience was traumatizing. She was traumatized because she had no idea what was going on. She says she was packing up when that three day eviction notice was slapped on her front door, but she was incredibly confused because she had just come from court. A judge gave her a 90 day stay, and she says all that stress landed her back in the hospital. Fear, uh, depression. Really, I didn't know, lonely, I didn't know what I was going to do. Those are just some of the emotions Tina Todaro felt when she realized she could no longer stay in her home. I asked the court for more time for the foreclosure, and uh, they granted me 90 days because of my health. I have a debilitating condition which is the whole reason I lost my employment to begin with. After that ruling with the common police court, Todaro felt a little relief, but it didn't last long. And then I get a notice that I have to three days. I have to leave. She says instead of abiding by the judge's ruling, Huntington Bank, the new owners of her home, went to municipal court to try and get her out quicker. The stress sent Todaro back to the hospital. And I felt sick. Like no way out, trapped in a box with saran wrap over your face. But she couldn't stay for long for the doctors to treat her severe COPD because she had to be back in court in a few days. I didn't know which way to turn. I thought for sure that my things would be out on the street. But to her surprise, the second judge ruled the same as the first one. According to court records, the judge said, I am perplexed by the attempt to sidestep the original grant for extension issued by this court. And that judge gave the Garfield Heights woman an additional 90 days in the place she's called home for more than a decade. No one, let alone banks, um, should be allowed to treat people this way. After this ordeal, Todaro sought out legal counsel. If I were to disobey a court order, I could be held in contempt. Uh, that means I could be fined, I could be sanctioned, I could be put in jail. Todaro is out of the house, but she's suing the bank. I felt very, very bullied and just, I felt hopeless. I reached out to the folks at Huntington Bank, but they tell me they cannot comment on pending litigation. I also talked to some people at the Better Business Bureau. They tell me there are no similar complaints about Huntington Bank in their records. We are live tonight in Garfield Heights. Amanda Van Allen, News 5.